Good evening. Uh, well, I want to welcome you to the first Every Black Family website series of experts. I'm just glad that you're able to join us tonight. My name is Jimmy Davies, and uh, I created the Every Black Family of websites. What we're going to be doing each week, we're going to be highlighting different members of our family, different entrepreneurs and professionals in a wide variety of fields. Uh, since this is our very first webinar, we thought it'd be best if I came on and explained why we created the webinars and and um, and how. So we're going to give you a little background information about myself tonight for our very first webinar, and then we're going to tell you more about the Every Black Family of webinars. Now, first, uh, a couple of things, housekeeping notes. One, we've got a thunderstorm going on here. And so you might hear lightning in the background, but we're going to ignore it as long as the power's still on. But if we do have power problems, then we'll just have to reschedule and come on at another time. Um, the other thing is that if you want to text me any questions, you can write this number down. It's 919-265-8045. And what I'll be doing is I'll be monitoring my cell phone for any questions that you might have. Just feel free to text me again. That number is 919-265-8045. Um, the next thing I want to do, though, is before we get started, I just want to thank some people that have been very instrumental in helping us with, um, with these websites. First of all, Sherry Taylor Lewis, who was with me from the very beginning, and she entered in, oh my gosh, hundreds of events and onto the database, onto the website, for content on every black event. Uh, also, I want to recognize Alice Fuller of Sheer Social. She's an excellent social media marketing person in Raleigh, North Carolina. And she was very helpful for me, bringing me up to speed on a lot of the newer technologies. I also want to give a shout out to uh, Bill Davis of Team Nimbus in Raleigh, who's a business consultant. And I took one of his classes. I highly recommend it. I think it's a 12-week course, but it really made me, caused me to rethink and revamp my entire series of websites. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to Audrey Smith, who's a customer service expert, and she'll be on next week. But she's also going to be our customer service uh, support staff here at the Every Black Family of Websites so that as our members join, if they need any help or have any questions, it's her job to make sure that they're happy. And she's, gonna, she's excellent at that. I also want to give a recognition to uh, Dr. Joel Dudley Sr. and the Fuller and Dudley Mastermind Group. We meet each week. And I tell you, I've been a part of that group now for seven months. And it's just a weekly inspiration, uh, mentoring, uh, support system, and uh, I, I, I can't say enough about that, that group. So I want to give a shout out to them. And of course, we want to give thanks to the Lord. I've been extremely blessed. And I'm so thankful for all of that I've been given talents and, and skills. And, and just hope I can use them in the way I'm intended to use them. And also, like I can say there's more, there's others that just too many to, to mention everyone. But I'm um, just really thankful for all of those who are able to help with, um, with these sites that we're, we're doing. Again, if you want to text me any questions, you can text them at 919-265-8045. That's 919-265-8045 if you have any questions or comments um, as I'm going through. So like I said, the first thing I want to do is just give you some background information about myself. I grew up um, during the 50s and 60s and during the Civil Rights Movement, actually, in Michigan, Flint, Michigan. But I just remember as a child seeing a lot of the things that were going on in Alabama at the time with the uh, marches. And some of my cousins, older cousins, actually participated in some of those moves, the, the marches and some of those actions. And they would come back to the, to the house. We'd always have our Sunday dinner together, all of my uh, extended family, the cousins and different uh, relatives uh, and friends. And they would talk about the things that they had seen and done. And 
And as a child, I just remember thinking, boy, I can't wait. I wish I could be a part of that. Well, of course, by the time I became 18, an adult, it was all over. So I really felt left out for a long time about that. But I didn't realize it at the time, but it just meant that my time hadn't come yet. And, and my time is when it refers to the technology. That's, that's what I discovered that I'm very good with. Well, after uh, growing up, I attended uh, Fair State College in Big Rapids, Michigan, where I uh, received my bachelor's in mathematics and a minor in physics. Um, and then I, after that, I worked for the Social Security Administration for about six years. Had nothing to do with what I went to school for, but it was um, a good paying job and I needed the money at the time. But something bothered me about just working for someone else or, or working for not being my own boss. So after about six years, I uh, decided to leave and I started a janitorial service. Moved to Virginia, started a janitorial service. Did that for about four years. And working with the, the janitorial service, I decided that I wanted to get a computer to help me manage my business. And a friend showed me a Macintosh, one of the very first Macintoshes that were made. And that was it. And that was around 1987. Well, within three years, or, or three months, I should say, within three months, I decided I'm out of the janitorial service and I'm in the computer training business. And so what I did is I started a computer training service in January of 1988, and I've been in the computer field ever since. But what's kind of funny now, looking back on it, is that when I first started my service, I didn't have enough money to buy a computer. So I was offering computer training services without, um, I'm just checking my, my phone here, but without having uh, an actual computer. But what I would do is I would buy the books and I would read the books and I would learn how to use the software. And then I would go to the customer and teach them how to use the different software packages. Well, I did that for quite a while. And what happened is that the business began to grow to the point where I had to bring on other trainers and we started branching out into other cities, other states. And it got to the point where we were traveling an eight state um, route on a regular basis, providing computer training on a wide variety of computer subjects, uh, such as PageMaker and at the time and Quark Express and Photoshop and Illustrator, and Microsoft Word and Excel. And at that time, no one knew how to use those software packages. So that's what we were doing, going teaching businesses how to use um, um, all types of software. Well, around the year 2000, I started to specialize in database development because um, with database development, one, I didn't have to do all that traveling. And the other thing is that I could learn one package really well, FileMaker, instead of trying to learn a lot of packages and the new versions of every piece of software every year. So I became a database developer, creating databases. And a lot of people ask me, like, or they're really not familiar, like, what is a database developer? Well, a database developer is, if you think about it, there's databases in everything you do. If you go to the doctor's office, they've got your database. They've got the information when you were there last, uh, any prescriptions you're taking, any x-rays that you have, that's all in a database. Or if you go to Walmart and you uh, buy something at Walmart, well, someone's keeping track of how many items are sold and what's in the inventory and the retail and wholesale price of all those items. So what I did is I actually created the systems to help people manage something, whether it's patients at a doctor's office or inventory in a Walmart. So what I wanted to do, though, again, it just bothered me that I was always working for other companies. So after a while, I decided, you know, I really wanted to see how can I use my talents and skills as a computer instructor and database developer to do something that I really cared about doing and wanted to do. And over time, it didn't come overnight, but I started thinking about it probably 15 years ago. And over time, I realized, one, I wanted to do something that takes advantage of those skills 
Um, also, I got to realize that I really enjoy helping others, so I wanted to and to give back. So I wanted to incorporate that in whatever that I did. Um, I wanted to do something to really help African Americans as well, because well, I don't need to quote you the statistics, but I wanted to do something that that made a difference. And the other thing is that I wanted to make sure <clears throat> that it was web based, so that um, if it's on the internet. I, it means I can manage it no matter where I am. Um, it, w it wouldn't matter. And then I wanted to do something that made it that was affordable and easy to construct and, and to and to use. I just want to take a break, quick break, and just tell you again that if you have any questions at all, uh, you can text me at 919-265-8045. That's 919-265-8045. So uh, to continue on with my story, so in 19 or 2014, I began to um, develop uh, some websites. I had an idea. And what I did really is I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have a, a database online of all the African-American nonprofits? So for years, I was collecting African-American nonprofits. Any, any one that I heard of, I put them in my database and just stored them up. Well, after a while, I literally had thousands of, of nonprofits in my database. So one of the first sites that I launched was the Every Black Nonprofit, where it lists African-American nonprofits. We've got over 500 in the database online right now at everyblacknonprofit.com. And we also wanted something where people can go and list their own nonprofit. So uh, if you take a look at it, everyblacknonprofit.com, list all types of nonprofits where you can list your own. You can search by different categories or search by keywords and without any problems. But it didn't really take off. And I think Twitter made me realize that it, it wasn't so much about the organizations themselves but it was more about the events. You know, what are they doing? Uh, and so I came up with Every Black Event, and that got a lot more attention, a lot more traffic, once we realized that it's not so much the nonprofits, it's also the events. Now, we wanted to keep the nonprofits on the, on the, online. That's important. But we also wanted to list events, every event that we could find going on in the country, wanted to list them on everyblackevent.com. But again, I wanted to make it so that you can also go, or anyone can go, and list their own event on the website, everyblackevent.com. Uh, and if you're listing an event that for a church, a nonprofit, and it's free to the public, you're not charging anything, then you can list your event for free. We couldn't make it any easier. You just go on, you create an account, and list your event. But now if you're charging for your event, then we just charge you a modest $10 uh, for li per listing so that you we can help you promote whatever it is that you're doing. So we've got those sites up, every black event and every black nonprofit. Well, a couple of things came to me, came to my, my me once um, I started working on every black event. First of all, I realized that I needed to leave my job at the time. I was working for a medical clinic in Raleigh, a spine surgeon, doing database work. And I realized I really needed to devote all of my time to these websites if it's going to be successful. So as of June of 2015, a year ago now, I left Hay Clinic to work on these full time. The other thing that dawned on me too as I was working on everyblackevent.com is that why stop at everyblacknonprofit.com and, and everyblackevent.com. What about the entrepreneurs? So I created everyblackentrepreneur.com. I created everyblacklibrary.com. Every Black Library is a website where we are offering workshops or, or I should say seminars, online seminars like this one, or online courses on a wide variety of subjects again. Now, the Every Black Entrepreneur that I just mentioned is a website listing entrepreneurs. And we want to help promote entrepreneurs by listing them on our website. 
I'm going to talk more about the benefits of that in a bit. But then again, I didn't stop there, so I create, created the website everyblackprofessional.com, uh, everyblackspeaker.com, and one that I really think is going to take off, which I think is a, a, a huge need for, is everyblackreturningcitizen.com. And what that website is, is that for people coming out of the prison system, we want to have some kind of support system in place so they can go online and find out where can they go, wherever they are, in the, wherever they are, where can they go to get maybe training or uh, maybe it's just counseling, where they can get clothing, food, just the basics to help them get re reenter back into society and not go back into the prison system. So we created the everyblackreturningcitizen.com. Now, in the everyblackreturningcitizen.com, we're not listing, of course, people that have been in prison, but we, we're listing the support centers. But for everyblackspeaker.com, we're listing speakers. For everyblackprofessional.com, we're listing professionals. So anyone can go there and see who the speakers are or who the professionals are uh, that they want to be in, get in touch with. And it's giving these people more exposure. Um, Again, I just want to say, if you have any questions at all or comments, you can text them to me at 919-265-8045. Well, sometimes people ask me, you know, what, what makes our website special? And I think what really makes my uh, Every Black Family websites unique is that they work together. What I mean by that is, there's other website out, websites out there that are listing entrepreneurs, or there's other websites out there that list speakers. But what I did is we created a, a family of websites where they inter, you can interact with the members from the different websites. For example, um, if you're a member of any of the, I call them membership sites, every black entrepreneur, professional, speaker, We've set up a Facebook group so you can actually network and talk to everyone else. Um, I think the other thing that makes us unique is that by signing up for one of these membership sites, you can take the classes at Every Black Library for free at no cost. Or you can post your events on Every Black Event at no cost. Or you can, uh, we can get you a directory of the nonprofits if you're a member of one of our other sites. So there's a lot of good benefits in, in making it a family of websites. So uh, the next phase is that, I, I hope you understand is what I did is by using, by creating the Every Black Family websites, it took, it took advantage of my computer training skills in the Every Black Library and the database development skills, which I've been doing for 15 years. So again, I wanted to take those skills and put them together to do something to help people. That's really the, the goal of the Every Black Family of websites. We want to make a difference. So, but we can't do it alone. We need your help. And these are some things that I want to ask you to do. First of all, it doesn't cost you anything at all to just spread the word. Tell people about us. Share us on your social media. Uh, share with your friends. Share it with your families. Get on our mailing list. You can get on our mailing list by going to any of the sites and asking to be kept informed with the Contact Us button or uh, on the About page on any site. So one, just share the information that we share with you. Pass it on. That makes a difference. The other thing that we are asking you to do is volunteer. What happened is that once we started putting out the websites, we started getting people responding from all over the country that wanted to be a part of what we're doing. They wanted to help, and we could use more volunteers. One of the things we're asking the volunteers to do that's very simple and easy is let us know what's going on in your part of the country, wherever you may be. What events are going on there? Send them to us or create an account and load them on every Black event so that we can be abreast of everything that's going on, no matter where it is. That's one thing that the volunteers can do. Uh, the other thing is that for volunteers, what I'm doing or have been asked to do is we've 
been asked to do a, a few speaking engagements to talk about the uh, what we're doing here or radio shows. So if you or your church, um, your organization, or if you know someone in the media that can help spread the word, please pass our name along. And again, uh, just to give my number again, it's 919-265-8045, Jimmy Davies. And again, if you have any questions at all, you can text them in uh, right now and I'll try to address them. And we're also, one other thing that we're doing, if you want to be a part of, of what we're doing here, is for the membership sites, we're looking for salespeople. What I mean by that is that we uh, have some people that are signing up for the memberships, like the Every Black Entrepreneur, or Every Black Professional, but we need salespeople. And we're, I'm willing to pay commission, a, a, a very uh, sizable, sizable commission, for anyone that wants to be a salesperson to help us promote our websites. And the last thing, and probably the most, one of the most important things you can do to help is simply sign up. Be a member of one of our sites. And we have two memberships. One, we have a free membership, and then we have a premium membership. Now with the free membership, we list you on the website, and that's about all. But you really want to be a premium member and really take advantage of the things that we're trying to offer. Help us help you in whatever you may be trying to do. So for a modest fee, and we don't ask much, we try to keep it as simple, as, as cheap, or I should say as reasonable as possible. But for a modest fee, we charge uh, $99 a year. And by doing that, you become a premium member and you get some of these benefits. For example, um, we're gonna be driving a lot of traffic to the website. And the more tra traffic we drive to the website, if you're on the website, the more traffic will come to you. Now, if you're on a premium membership, we're gonna be listing you in a published directory, PDF directory, that we're gonna be distributing around the, uh, literally around the world or over the internet. And also will it be available for people to download directly from the sites. So uh, with the bait free membership, we only list you on the site, but with the premium, you're listed on the website and you're included in the um, PDF directory. And once we get that going too, we're gonna also uh, provide some, maybe some advertising, allow you to do some advertising in the PDF directory that will be shared or downloaded from our site. The other thing that you can do with the premium membership is you'll be able to take classes at no cost. Now, most of the classes we have, we, we charge, I think, $20 per class. But if you're a member of the uh, premium member of our websites with annual fee of $99, then you can take as many classes as you want at no cost of courses. And we're going to be adding more and more courses over time. The other thing that you can do if you're a premium member is you can be a guest speaker on one of our Thursday Night Expert series, just as I'm doing tonight. So from the, our membership, we're going to be selecting people, experts, to continue this Thursday night um, webinar. And I think I mentioned earlier is that by being a premium member, you also will be automatically added to our Facebook group, unless you don't want to be, of course. But on the Facebook group, um, you'll be able to interact with all the members of all the other sites. It won't matter if they're every black professional or every black uh, entrepreneur or every black uh, educators, another site that we have, you'll be able to interact and communicate and network with all of those other people. And the last thing um, is that we wanna help you. That, that's the whole purpose of these sites. We wanna make a difference. And so I encourage you, give us a call, give me a call, uh, give Audrey Smith a call. Now my number again is 919-265-8045. And Audrey's number is 919-885-1801. That's 919-885-1801. And we wanna help you if you have problems with the website, if you just have problems with your business, you just need someone to talk to um, about what you're trying to accomplish. 
will be more than glad to help you. So those are just some of the perks that we've included in the premium membership. Again, it's only starting at just $99 a year, but we've even broken that down so you can get a quarterly membership if you wanna try it out for only $29 a quarter. Of course, the best value is the, the annual value. So I think that pretty much wraps up our, our webinar. I do wanna mention a few other things too. We've got a upcoming speakers next week will be Audrey Smith, that I mentioned earlier, and her topic will be the essential keys to world-class customer service. She's been a customer service uh, professional for years and she's gonna share her knowledge with us. And then on July 21st, we have Joy Abdullah, and she's gonna to speak to you about nutrition. And her topic is entitled, Eating to Live for the Original Man and Woman. So pretty much that's it. I'm just gonna check my phone again. If you have any text messages that you wanna send me, 919-265-8045, uh, please do so now. We're going to also, this recording will be on our website. Um, you will be able to go to every dot black www dot every dot black and from there you'll be able to find uh, all of our webinars that we've been doing on the thursday night group and for future webinars too if you want to find out when it is and the link they will always be posted on every black event.com and every black library.com so i'll make sure that those postings are there every week every black event.com and every black library.com. So I'm going to leave you with one last saying is where there is change, there's opportunity. And since change is constant, there is always opportunity. Thank you again for joining us on our very first expert webinar. Thank you. <laughs>